Well, four-legged hero needs some help from you. Christina Van Zels explains what you can do to support a retired canine officer facing a life-threatening disease. This former St. Francis police canine officer has faced many dangers. He was generally the first one into a building, generally the first one into a situation. But now he's fighting a different kind of evil. It's gone from being able to do like a full mile mile walk down to about a five minute walk, even with his cart. Canine Bain has been diagnosed with degenerative myelopathy. It's an incurable degenerative nerve disease that will eventually cause complete paralysis and cause his organs to shut down. He is happy to be alive every day. I think he's happy to see me every day. And, you know, I think he's taking this in strides. Canine Bain retired in 2020. His handler, Detective Holly McManus, worked with him for seven years. Now she's hoping to return the favor. He has literally saved my life and lives of other officers and the public. McManus is raising money for canine Bain's medical treatments to make him comfortable. He's currently using a walker to get around to help keep him stable. But the funny thing is, is I don't think he minds. Um, because he's always just been kind of the lay around at home type dog anyway. She's also raising funds for a canine legacy statue planned to go in front of the Civic Center. That will be dedicated to all the canines in St. Francis to simply say thank you for their service. In St. Francis, Christina Van Zelst, Fox 6 News. A GoFundMe has been set up to help cover Bain's medical bills and funds will go toward the Canine Legacy Monument. We've got a link to it on our website. Just look for this story when you visit fox6now.com.